Hello and welcome to this video. So I have a new file here called collecthisdata.py in the root of our project folder. And I've got some imports already pre-prepared so you don't need to watch me typing them out. But we've got pandas, we've got date time, and then we've got the instrument class from our instrument.py, our utils, and we've also got the OANDA API, which of course we'll be using to collect the historical candle data. Then in addition to this, I'm going to add a new object. And this object is going to be called increments, and it'll have a key M5 and a value 5 h1 value 60 and h4 a value 240. And this will be used for the granularities that we want to collect. You can also add more and this is the number of minutes for each candle. You'll see how that will be used later on to help when we collect the candles. So in masim.py there's a piece of code here that we saw also in the notebook and that was if you gave a comma separated string of currencies then you would get back all of the tradable combinations of those currencies. Now this is something that you'll use time and time again. So I want to take this function I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it uh, at the bottom of the instrument class, just indent all of this and now make a couple of changes. We'll call this a class method, make some space and indent. Then we need CLS at the start of here. We can remove all of this here and put CLS. And then test list will change the name to pair list. We don't need to print and we return the pair list. Now I've done something rather horrible there. I've copied and pasted code. So we have an almost exact duplication of code here. And theoretically inside masim.py really you would now use the version from instrument.py. However, we're not going to touch this file again. So I'm going to leave it as it is and forge on regardless. But please feel free to replace that with a call to this function. So I just want to quickly test this function before we move on. So down in main here then, you might have some stuff already in there. Just remove it. I, I did in preparation already. We're just going to print instrument dot and get test pairs. We need a string there to give into this function. So we'll put this string here and I'll just go to the console and let's run that file. OK, and we get a list for our string of all the tradable pairs. Good. So we can use that inside our history collection. So back in collect his data dot pi, I want to write a new function called def run collection. And inside here, we're going to define a pair list, which is going to be exactly the same as the one inside masim.py. And one thing I'm going to do just before we carry on is go back into instrument.py and just change the name from get test pairs to get pairs from string because it's a little bit clearer. So back in to collect his data, we can do a couple of loops. So we can do 4G in increment.keys and then 4I in instrument.get pairs from string and then print G and I. And finally, down the bottom here, we can type if names equal to main colon and run collection. OK, then, so into the console, just to test all of that out, just run the script. OK, and that looks all right. So we can see that we've got the M5 and then all of the combinations of currencies that we want to pull down as historical data. OK, so that's it for this video. That's a start into collecting our data. We'll carry on in the next video. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, welcome as always.